sick. Wanna go get him? Wanna go get him? Wanna go get him? Wanna go get him? You good? Yeah. We are at the park doing some tugging. As you can see, Hustle got a new vest. Let's see if he'll stay still. Stay, Hustle. Stay. So you guys can see it. No, stay, Hustle. Stay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we got a new vest with Hustle. So when I'm out playing with my pit bull, my real APBT, right there, boom. Uh, I use a, a vest or a collar pretty much majority of the time. Um, he is a working dog. He has such a high drive. He really does need it. And a lot of people with dogs have high energy as dogs and then they're not using their vest or a weighted collar and honestly i really recommend you use that especially if you're short on time i made a video on the vest and weighted collar so go back to my videos and you'll see it on there i'm not going to talk about it right now but what we're going to talk about is having structure when you play with your dog all right so a lot of people when they're playing with their dogs they have no structure at all there's throwing a tennis ball over and over and over and over and the dog doesn't even care about them at all it's not paying attention to them at all it's just focusing on that ball and obviously yeah they love that ball but you got to have them work for it you got to have some structure with it you know you can't just have them go all crazy and you're rewarding them for doing whatever they want so you'll see as i work with hustle i make him work for the tug you know i'm gonna make him sprint a little bit do some heel work um do some tricks and stuff and just have fun with it you know because it's still fun we're still playing but we're just having structure with it you know and that's and, and also like i don't leave toys around my house just all around the house when like because there's no reason to if toys are on the floor obviously your dog's gonna get bored of toys if they're having toys out everywhere inside the house so if your dog isn't even playing with you that's probably a big part of it you have all these toys in your house and you're not even playing with your dog with those toys he's just in there in the house tearing up these toys while you're doing whatever you're doing when you should be interacting with your dog using those toys so look at him he waiting so calmly so yeah so what i'm using today is a bite pillow it's like a big tug toy uh dan gave me this shout out to dan go like comment and subscribe at dogs mind training and yeah, he runs that channel and this is what he gave me. I don't know why he got pink, but Hustle loves it and it's all good. We don't really care about the color. So yeah, let me set this up and I'll show you guys how we do some tug and how we play and how we have keep how we keep structure while we're playing. Heel. Yeah. Ah. Through. Heel. Down. Up. Under. Heel. Yeah. Good boy. Through. Heel. Nope. Heel.
Under. Yeah. Good boy. Spin. Spin. Get back. Yeah. Good boy. Under. Heel. Under. Heel. Under. Heel. Under. Heel. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Oh. Give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> Out. Nope. Heel. Sit. Stay. So, and this is his drive, watch. Yeah. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Ooh, good boy. Leave it. No. Go get it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in hot. So, when you're playing tug with your dog, you got a high energy dog. You might get nipped every now and then, but hey, it's part of the game. You gotta be faster than your dog sometimes. You know, I got clients sometimes like, oh my gosh, she's so fast. Well, it's a dog, you know, they're gonna be working, they're gonna be trying to get work their hardest just to get that toy, you know, so you gotta put in the work. I mean, you gotta challenge your dog. These dogs get bored because you get bored and you stop challenging your dog. You gotta continue. You know, look. We've barely been playing five minutes and this boy is tired because he has a vest, he's working, he has structure and all that. Look at that tired happy boy. <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys got any questions or anything, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be dropping more videos about me and my dogs just, you know playing around what we do what I do with my dogs you know just my personal dogs what I do every day and what I think other people should do so look at him this is my boy also when I'm out I like to use benches or anything I can get my dog to jump up on you know as an obstacle to work my dog you know use the whole world stop being lazy go out work the dog all you gotta do is find a bench, find a park, and you're good to go. Come on, Hustle. Let's go. Go up. Come on, let's go. Go up. Come on, Hustle, let's go. Go up. Come on, Hustle, let's go. Go up. Come on, Hustle, let's go. Go up. Sit. Good boy. And then you reward it. Yes! Oh, got jammed up a little bit. It's okay though, buddy. It's okay, buddy. We are all done. I got a nice tired dog with some obedience in. Did our oh excuse me. Did our training. I'm bam. Look at that whip. So don't forget to like, comment, oh, let me zoom out, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll drop some tips whenever I get a chance. I think I'm going to do some more dog content, and 
Uh, I just got my car detailed too, so I don't really want to go out to the range and get it all dirty again. But it is raining, so if it gets dirty, then I'm going to go to the range again. But dog con content still coming on the way. Stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hustle. We'll see you later. Ha, hustle. See you later, bruh. 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 He too tired, look. He got his hand up there and everything. Look at my tired boy. Go work your dog.